Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Our Coffee Break today is about the paper Urban Living Labs for Sustainability and Low Carbon Cities in Europe towards a research agenda. And I'm having a coffee break with Kes McCormick. He is the senior lecturer at the International Institute for Industrial Environmental Economics at Lund University in Sweden. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with cutting-edge insights on regional development and innovation. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Hello, Kes. Thank you for accepting this invitation to my Coffee Break. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm having a really nice coffee from Colombia from the Tyrona region. Which one are you having? I think I'm having a very black Swedish coffee. I want to talk with you about a paper you wrote on urban living labs for sustainability. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? This paper is about uh, the role of cities in, uh, in sustainable development um, and in particular focusing in on urban living labs as a particular way of working in cities. Um, and urban living labs are about sites or places in cities, so physical places in cities which are used and designed to, uh, to test and learn with innovation in real time. Since the main notion of your paper is, of course, urban living labs, could you please tell me how will you define this concept throughout your paper? Yeah, I mean, as with all kind of academic concepts, it can be a bit fuzzy and broad, but it can also be really helpful to, uh, to, to understand the world and to make sense of the world around us. So in our paper, we defined urban living labs with five different characteristics. And the first uh, characteristic was around the uh, context, around that uh, urban living labs are embedded in cities, that they're part of cities. Um, they can be a street or a building or a district, but they're actually a physical space in cities where we uh, work with experimentation. And, and that's the second characteristic, the idea of experimentation, which is really around uh, doing something outside business as usual. So doing something a little bit different, a little bit ambitious. Um, this can be anything from something quite technical, solar panels, implementing them in a new, in a new way or some kind of community initiative. Um, but experimentation is really a, a really a core aspect of urban living labs. The third part is around participation. Um, the idea that it's really important to engage with urban citizens and different organisations and stakeholders in cities um, to work on some kind of co-creation process, so to work together. Um, at leadership, another key characteristic of urban living labs, um, what we found was that uh, leadership plays a really important role to the design of an urban living lab and the different impacts. So if an urban living lab is led by universities or led by municipalities or led by business or some kind of hybrid model, this really shapes the types of impacts and so on. And then finally, evaluation. The idea that in an urban living lab we evaluate and assess as we go and that we feed back this learnings into the urban living lab. Um, this is another key characteristic of what makes an urban living lab something which can, uh, can have a positive impact on cities. Thank you for that, it's very good to know. And uh, which ones were the main findings of your paper? Yeah, I think like two key findings around governance and the role of universities. So the first around governance is that cities or municipalities are really using urban living labs to govern their cities. Um, this is something quite different to regulation or enforcement. Um, uh, urban living labs are being used to kind of experiment and to enable other actors to engage in shaping uh, the urban development in cities. And this is really exciting. Um, another kind of finding is around the role of universities um, in sustainable urban development. And in urban living labs, uh, researchers and universities are being asked to engage kind of in these processes uh, from the beginning to end and to early on to offer inputs and advice. Um, and to do something a little bit different to the way researchers typically work. Researchers typically work on projects and then produce a report at the end of that project. Whereas in urban living labs, they're being asked to be, uh, to be very active from beginning to end and to be offering advice and inputs uh, all the way through. Thank you for clarifying that. I find this topic very, very important to know. And um, could you please let us know what was your main motivation in doing this research? Yeah, I think from a big picture, I'm, I'm really interested in the role of cities in sustainable development. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on what cities can do for sustainable development around the world. And 
think it's important that we try to understand uh, what cities can, can be doing uh, by themselves, what kind of activities they can be taking on, and where they might need help from national policy or larger industry and so on. And I think Urban Living Labs is a really fun concept to work with because it brings you down right to the street level, to the ground level of, of what cities do, but also kind of lifts you up to kind of bigger policy issues and, and big issues around industry and innovation. I think this topic has very important policy implications. Which ones will you consider are the main ones based on your findings? Yeah, I think Urban Living Labs have policy implications, particularly for innovation policy and for innovation agencies, how they think about their funding models and policies for, for cities. Um, Urban Living Labs are a quite different way of working uh, that cities might have done in the past and that uh, innovation agencies particularly can think about how they might fund those, those activities, what kind of support they might provide to allow different Urban Living Labs to kind of blossom and develop in different parts of cities. And also the idea that some of these Urban Living Labs might be really quite successful and others might be failures, but you can actually learn from, from both types of Urban Living Labs. Guess it was really nice for me to have you here in a coffee break and discussing with you this very important field of research. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll enjoy my coffee. See you later. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about this academic publication, you can find here the link below. See you next time. Bye bye.